Welcome back to New Rockstars. It's me, MT, and what is MODOK's plan in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania? I mean, with the return of Darren Cross to the MCU, so many people want to know how this crazy computerized cranium is going to cause chaos with Kang the Conqueror. Well, if we look at Darren Cross's history, I think we can get a good idea of what he could be up to, and I have a feeling that he could be behind all of Scott Lang's miseries and potential death in this final film of this Ant-Man trilogy. So let's look at all those clues together, my nerd babies. All right, so, what could MODOK be planning in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania? Well, to put it bluntly, MODOK is the mental organism designed only for killing in the Marvel comics. So that is exactly what MODOK's function is going to be in Ant-Man 3, a freaking killing machine. And while MODOK in the comics is a different person by the name of George Tuttleton, comic MODOK's murderous mentality is exactly in line with Darren Cross's character from Ant-Man 1, before Scott Lang deformed his body and led him to become this big-headed monstrosity. We know from the first Ant-Man film that Darren Cross isn't the most mentally stable man. I mean, the last time we saw him, he was literally on a massive revenge tour vendetta against Scott Lang and Hank Pym's family after they ruined his plans to sell the Yellow Jacket armor to sketchy terrorist organizations like the Ten Rings and Hydra, and even went as far as to kidnap Scott Lang's little tiny daughter Cassie in order to attempt to murder him in front of that little daughter Cassie in his deranged quest for retribution, much like he wanted to execute Hank Pym in front of his daughter Hope just a few minutes before that because they dared to cross the cross. But there is a reason for Darren Cross's mental instability, and Hope brings this up as she tries to appeal to Darren Cross's humanity when he has them all at gunpoint in the first film. It's not who you are. It's the particles altering your brain chemistry. Because you see, when Darren Cross took over Hank Pym's business after he forced Hank out, Darren Cross discovered a substitute particle to the Pym particle that allowed him to successfully shrink down living organic matter, while also increasing the user's strength, with that latter part being something that Hank Pym's Pym particles could not do as the user only retained their normal strength while being shrunk down. When I took over this company for Dr. Pym, I immediately started researching a particle that could change the distance between atoms while increasing density and strength. So increasing your strength is like something that is new to the new formula. However, repeated exposure to the radiation from that new particle altered Darren Cross's brain and increased his already super vindictive nature times like a thousand to the point where killing people that got in his way became super comfortable and necessary to him. Much like when he killed poor old Frank when Frank dared to question the safety of his yellow jacket suits after Cross's very concerning presentation about the military applications of this suit. Literally just shrunk him down into tiny Frank Pace and then flushed him down the toilet. And when I say that that presentation was concerning, it really was because Darren Cross was about to unleash the ultimate stealth army that the world has never seen before. A single yellow jacket offers the user unlimited influence to carry out protective actions. And one day soon, an army of yellow jackets will create a sustainable environment of well-being around the world. And I think this is all going to come into play in Quantumania with MODOK, because as we've seen in the Quantumania trailers, Cassie Lang has been able to make a device that is capable of communicating with the quantum realm. And we can even see a keyboard connected to the console that she uses to do so, implying that Cassie has been chatting with someone from that very realm. And I feel like that person is none other than the vengeful Darren Cross, using Cassie Lang much like he used her in the first film, as a man with even more murder on his mind now that his maniacal melon has been magnified by misfortune. Make no mistake, everybody, Darren Cross is still very cross with the Langs, Pims, and Van Dynes for ruining all of his life's work and making him into a deformed man with a forehead that makes Jimmy Neutron look like a Pez dispenser. Oh, you got Pez! And hey guys, the beginning of the year is a great time to sort out all the stuff that you didn't sort out last year. You know, like your life, your health, the amount of money that you put aside for movie merch impulse buys. <laughs> Some of that stuff is hard to do, but some of it is super easy. Like you could seriously up your skincare and hygiene game by checking out Geology. Geology is a 16 time award winning personalized skincare company recognized in Hype Beast, Birdie, Men's Health, Esquire, and Ask Men Grooming Awards with over 6,000 five star reviews. And they've recently expanded to offer products for pretty much whatever you need. All you gotta do is take a quick 30 second diagnostic quiz and Geology figures out your routine for you 
you. Geology creates simple and effective skincare and hair care routines customized just for you with ingredients that are proven to work no matter what you're trying to take care of. For hair care, you can use Geology's Co-Wash, a specially formulated cream cleanser that removes buildup and cleanses the hair without the big lather or harsh ingredients of typical shampoo. Geology also has body washes that are free of harsh ingredients, smell great, and are refillable. For skincare, Geology helps you protect your skin from environmental stressors with vitamin C and vitamin E, Ferulic Serum to keep your skin looking young and healthy, and then a bit of dermatologist-tested aluminum-free deodorants to keep your armpits smelling not stanky. Right now, for a limited time, Geology is hooking up our viewers with an absolutely insane offer. Listen up. If you use code ROCKSTAR70, they will give you an additional 70% off their award-winning skincare trial set. We did the math, and that's five products for just $15. And on top of that, you can take an additional 30% bonus offer on one of their brand new skin, hair, and body products of your choice when you add it to your trial. To get started with Geology, just click the link in the description. We thank Geology so much for sponsoring this video. You guys are amazing. And there's also the chance here that MODOK's exposure to all of the yellow energy of the quantum realm could be affecting MODOK's mind even more, much like his exposure to the yellow energy radiation from his suit and made him into a murdering menace. I believe that MODOK lured the Pims, Langs, and Van Dynes to the quantum realm just so he could have his revenge on all the people who wronged him while also hitchhiking a ride out of his quantum realm prison with his new multiversal buddy, Kang the Conqueror. Possibly also even equipping Kang's army with the Yellow Jacket technology that he was going to sell to the Tang Rings and Hydra to help him invade the multiverse in the most stealthiest way possible. Like, you cannot stop a Kang army that can shrink and grow at will. The multiverse will fold in a second. Like, if you saw Hank Pym in the Yellow Jacket armor kill all the Avengers in What If, you know just how crazy having just one Yellow Jacket suit in the wrong hands can be. Like, a whole army of Yellow Jackets would decimate the entire timeline while also giving MODOK the unique opportunity to kill the Langs, Pims, and Van Dynes in every universe like the killing machine that he is. And I have a feeling that he is going to go after Scott Lang in every universe. But yeah, in short, MODOK's plan is to be a mental organism designed for killing, to kill. But since his exposure to quantum radiation has affected his mind to such a drastic degree, his bloodlust might just lead him to try to cause a genocide of multiversal proportions. Just to prove that he is the biggest brain in 616. That is what I believe MODOK Doc's plan is for the MCU in this film. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You can follow me at Messertainment on Twitter if you guys want to see me tweet some weird shit and really fun theories, especially the hashtag the Marvel Trigger Theory, which I always tweet about on my Twitter. It's about all the infinity energies and it's really, really interesting. So follow that on Twitter if you want to. But more importantly, you can follow your rock stars wherever we are on the social media. Make sure you hit that bell down below if you want to get all the notifications whenever we upload a video. I love you guys so much and I feel like I don't tell you guys that as often as I should, but I love you guys times a million bajillion, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.